Hello guys, I'm Glaceheads2, and today I'm going to be showing you how to stealth Shadow Raid on Nightmare Difficulty and Notoriety. Now this heist is pretty complex, so there's a few things I have to go over before we get started. First off, there are a lot more guards than you have pages. And specifically, there are three guards that you are pretty much forced to take out. And those are the camera operator and two guards carrying key cards. Now you can get lucky, and the camera operator can be a guard carrying a key card, but that is pretty unlikely. If you see these guards are like carrying key cards for the guards inside the warehouse, that is if they have a beret on instead of a helmet, and for the guards outside of the warehouse, they have a black suit, you should take them out if possible, answer the pages, do all that stuff, and, you know, just get the key card, all that. Then, yeah, you can use those key cards to open the vault at some point. And there's also one less guard you have to be worrying about. That's all I have to say concerning important information, so some recommended skills I have for this heist are Carry Pigeon Aced for, of course, carrying bags faster. Pack Animal Aced for, of course, carrying bags faster. Movement, Speed, and Stamina skills for carrying bags faster and moving faster overall. And Infiltrator Aced so you can, you know, open doors without having to pick them open. Just use your melee weapon. For assets, you want to buy both of them, thermite and body bags, and for gear, just have a good stealth loadout. I'll link mine in the top right hand corner. But other than that, let's just get right into it. So, when you get into the heist, the first thing you want to do is make your way to the camera room through the sewers. You do this by grabbing some thermite, and heading over to this manhole over here. You have to move this, on down and use thermite on the first grate that you come across. Now sometimes you won't have to use both thermites to access the ladder that you need to access, but either way, just have to pick them both up. And if you are lucky enough to not have to use both thermites, you can just use a thermite on a different grate, but that's not really essential for the strategy I'm going to be showing here. Let me get down the hole. Thank you. Kapow. And just heading over here. There we go. And after a short little burning, we are through. Then you want to switch to a melee weapon, head up this ladder, open up the man manhole, not whatever, and just run over to these stairs all the way up. Over to here, through here, and bam. Okay, so the camera guard does not have a key card. That's fine. Just murder him with your melee weapon and shove him into this corner. And answer their pager. And you can just leave them here if they're out of view of this doorway. Now, crowbar spawns. One can spawn right here. One spawns right here. Another one spawns right here in this yellow cage. Ooh. One more spawns in this little side room. And the last one spawns down back in the sewers right here. All of these are 100% guaranteed to spawn, so if you have four people, there's enough for everybody. Once you've gotten a key card, you want to start looking around on the shelves. Making sure you're not getting caught by the guards. If you start getting detected, just find some place that you know is 100% safe because you never know where you're getting detected from this map in my experience. I have lost many a run just not knowing where somebody's looking at me. Anyways, once you're 100% sure the area is safe, start stealing loot from the shelves or crates or wherever you got found the loot. And shove it down the manhole. Into the sewers. And just want to keep looking around for loot. Someone here? Nope. Civilians are kind of a pain in this heist. Because they are everywhere at once. So in conjunction with the guards you have quite a lot to worry about. A lot to keep on top of. But I believe in you guys. Most importantly, I believe in myself. Anyways, there is a crate in a yellow cage right here, but these yellow cages are notoriously difficult to hack, 
into because it takes 10 full seconds to open and in that time many ai are going to come over to you but first try this time hmm pretty helpful usually doesn't go that well but being inside these areas is pretty safe oh and this crate had the artifact in it how convenient perfect where is nothing perfect and just shove this thing down here and after you did this small downstairs area, you can go up ahead, check these shelves, and see what's going on up top. Check around back here. Up here, nothing. Okay, anything in there? Okay, blocks of cola in that room. Hide in the camera room. Now I just have to wait for these guards to disperse a little before I can hack that open. Perfect. Open this up. Looking at me, that's looking at me. Mm, I didn't have to cancel that, but... Eh. This takes way too long. But whatever. Oh, handy knee here. Bag up the Bloxy. And you can use your melee weapon to get on onto this balcony. It's a pretty safe space. You can leave bags out here if you want to. But I wouldn't recommend it because the sewers are always safer. Okay, some baggable cash. Perfect. That means I'm full up on loot here. So I have to go downstairs. More loot there. More guns there. And it looks like... That is everything on the top floor. Perfect. Perfect. So we'll head on back down here. Throw the stuff down here. And go and see if we can't grab those weapons. Nice and clear. Grab the weapons, see if there's anybody over here. Grab this cash anyways. I doubt that guy's gonna get over there in time. Perfect. Get over to here, down to here. And, oh. Uh, would you please go to the way? Oh, wow. Thank you. Okay, perfect. So that's quite a bit of loot down there already. So the second floor is clear, this first floor area is clear. Now the main warehouse floor is kind of a pain. Usually there's, sometimes there's a crate here. But it is pretty manageable. Check this crate. Just check every crate you see. Because you never know what's inside. Money. Well, that is certainly something that can be put inside of a crate. That guy is getting a bit too close for comfort, and that civilian is not questioning me anymore. Nice. Oh, somebody behind me is questioning me. That guard on the catwalk, okay. Anything in here? Gold? Well, certainly do not mind if I do. That means it's a bit difficult to get through here, but not all that hard. Got that stuff down there. Perfect. Going pretty well, actually. Ah, I shouldn't jinx it. Wait for that detection bar to go down. Mm, that guard's in the way. I'll head over here. Open this up. Nothing. Like this one. Hola. Okay, civilian's coming over this way, so I'm gonna quickly... Okay, there's weapons there. See if I can grab this. Nice. Head over to here. Dump loot back into the sewers. Oh, no, 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 no. 
the sewers with you. And I'm going to go see if I can get... Oh my goodness gracious. I'm going to go see if I can get this boxy. It appears that that would be very difficult, considering the fact that there are multiple things that are detecting me around. So we go back to our safe space and hide. There is quite a lot of sitting around and waiting in this map. I won't sugarcoat it. Kind of boring. But all for the money, I guess. Okay. Take the block, see. Something behind me is detecting me, so I'll go this way. Perfect. Throw that down the hole. And that is the entire warehouse looted, as far as I can tell. And I like to think that I'm usually right, but just in case, I'm going to head down here and make sure there's nothing else. Nope. Okay. Time to look for keycard guards. Oh, well, how convenient. So this is one of the black suited keycard guards I was talking about before. And this is actually the easiest place to take out guards because nobody will ever come down here. However, I'm not 100% sure in that fact. And I have way more than enough body bags to make sure. So I'm just going to take this guy and shove him into the sewers. So I'll just take the corpse. With me, here, down here, and can't throw it into the ocean, so I'll just leave it here. Now, I've got one key card, so all I have to do is look for the other key card guard. Now, I didn't see any guard for Beret inside of the heist, I mean of the warehouse, so it must mean that there's one outside. Or my eyesight is terrible. Equally or both likely. Both are equally likely. My goodness. This heist has almost broken me, I swear. Anyways. Oh yeah, there he is. Our beautiful, beautiful boy. Oh jeez. Okay, that's a few guards. So, the red containers in the container yard contain loot. Or can contain loot. The only ones that can be opened is the point. So what we're going to do is we're going to open this, pop our little heads out. Oh, something's questioning us. So we go back. Nothing's questioning us. Something's questioning us. Hide. Hide. Okay, that was close. So you know what? We're going to go somewhere else. Namely, this other entrance here. There's the beautiful boy once again. Open up this container. Okay, and there's loot in here. So we're gonna quickly grab it and make a great escape. Now you can just throw loot over the fence here, towards the van if you need to. And you don't have to walk all the way to the sewers all the way up the gate. Oh, even more loot. Wow. I mean, I did expect this. These are the loot crates. But. Two bagable objects inside one container is rare in my experience. But anyways, we just keep throwing them over. And we have to wait for our beautiful boy over here to separate himself from the crowd. So, want to keep our eye on him, but we also want to do it at the same time. Nothing in here, okay. Okay, so beautiful boy is making his rounds. So, there's a guard over here, okay, there's also, oh, there's another one. Didn't realize there were this many guards out here. You can use this fence as an escape route as well, but it's also a good place to throw loot down. Anyways, anything in here? Nope, empty. Nothing's looking this way currently, so I'm just going to open this. Nothing as well. Okay, not that many of the crates, only this one here, which requires a little bit of parkour. So going to wait until these guys clear out a little bit. Okay, civilian, you can just uh, go away. 
Okay, perfect. Open this. Blue Skull Bars and Bloxy Cola. Nice. Okay. Okay, beautiful boy is going to, the sec to a secluded spot, so gonna quickly get this blocks of cola out of here and head back. Oh, he is not going to a secluded spot. Beautiful boy, you aren't that beautiful anymore. Come on. I really want to like you, but you're just not playing the way I want you to. Oh, oh, now he is. Come on, come on. Oh, yeah. Okay. So the best place to take him out is supposed to be over there, but it appears that multiple guards are in that area. So we're going to have to wait. Though if you open up this shipping container, it's a pretty okay place to keep an eye out from, as not many guards can... Huh? I'm marking him. Okay, you know what? I mark you from here. Perfect. Okay, where are you going? Oh, I slipped. I'm going that way. I've got two dead guards, so I only have two pagers. I have enough body bags, but all those guards are walking over there at the same time. Oh. This guy's coming back over this way. There's nobody else with him. Oh, except for that civilian. Mm. Oh, and that guard's coming back. Okay, this guy's right here. Those other guards are there. Ugh. This is painful. And yeah, sometimes this is just the way uh, the cookie crumbles, as they say. But if you see a chance, you take it. Come on, pager. And very swiftly, answer the pager. Come on. Beg the corpse. Yeah. And grab the key card. There we go. 16 minutes in. Finally. Got the second key card. Now, at this point, it is just the game of not getting caught. And that can sometimes be difficult. However, since we're outside, it doesn't make all that much of a difference what goes on. Except for the fact that there's a civilian coming this way, and there's a guard right there. Uh-oh. Oh, okay, that guard's buggering off. That civilian isn't. Okay. Okay, that civilian is. Okay. Get this body out of here. Woo! That was pretty tense. I'll say. Anyways, and at this point, all you have to do is head back into the warehouse. Oh, and sometimes civilians fall down this, uh, this manhole here. I don't know why. Makes my job a little bit easier. You don't have to do anything, then they'll just sit there for the rest of the game. Because the pathing breaks. Anyways, we're gonna head up here. Take a look around over here. Nothing's going on. Open, open. Okay. And there we go. Now there are three bags worth of loot here. I think it's three bags. I don't actually remember. It might be four. But we can just open it all up. And the guards will never notice the open vault. So, it's fine. Yeah, it's four. Okay. I can never remember with the samurai set. Anyways. You want to get the armor. And when you know it's safe, make a sprint for the sewers. Drop the armor down into the sewers. And drop the armor down into the sewers. And yeah, that is base. Oh. That is basically all you need to know. About Stealth and Shadow Raid. Now for the hard part. Taking all of the loot. All the way to the van. But you know what? That's what Fast Forward is for. So see you guys for the outro.
And there we are. 3.8 million dollars in loot. And yeah. Pretty difficult heist, all things considered. Takes pretty long. But it is definitely worth it. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed the video, like and subscribe, you know, leave a comment, all the, all that stuff. Y you know the drill. I am I'm just tired. This is a uh, yeah, difficult heist, difficult heist, but uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.